Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to recreate Poitra's look from Cook with Komali finale. She looked absolutely gorgeous. She kept her makeup simple and made a hairstyle and outfit statement pieces. So today I'm going to show you how I recreate both makeup and hairstyle in this video. Before that, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like this video and now let's get started. First, for the base, I'm using Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay Foundation. Her makeup looks matte with little glow which comes from highlighter. So I'm using this foundation as it will give a shine free look as similar to hers. This foundation also will give a great coverage for an event makeup. For concealer, I'm using Allegal Pro Concealer. I'm using little of it on inner corner and outer corner of my eyes to cover up a little darkness and brighten up the under eyes slightly. This is such a great affordable concealer. It provides a medium to full coverage without feeling heavy at all and they do not look cakey as well. This quality is very important for this makeup look because we are going to make it matte so we don't want it to look cakey at all. So this concealer works great for that. To set the concealers in place, I am using Aspen Loose Powder. She had a matte base so I'm going to apply the powder with my damp beauty sponge and dab the powder a little extra under my eyes. Then with whatever left in the sponge I'm applying throughout my face to make the base matte. Then I'm taking a clean brush and just dusting off the excess powders. She had some contours on her cheekbones, so I'm using Focalier Bling Palette and contouring my cheekbones. And with whatever left in the brush, I'm just applying on my forehead and jawlines to give a chisel look as hers because she have beautiful jawlines. To add a little color to the face, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Rose and applying above my contour. This method will help you to lift your face. And that's exactly how she had a blush, not on the apple of the cheeks. So I'm just following that. For highlighter, I'm using a Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. It looks like she had a golden highlighter, so I'm opting for a gold highlighter. I'm applying it slightly on high points of my cheeks my nose, my forehead and slightly on my chin. This is to give a beautiful glow. Now for my brows, I'm using Focalier Brow Pomade. Her brows are long and sharp, so I'm extending my brow shape to look as similar to hers. Moving to the eyes, she had simple pink eyeshadow. For that, I'm using You Can Be Pretty All Set Palette. I'm going to take this light pink shade and blend them on my crease. I'm also blending them on the outer corners of my eyes. She had slightly darker pink going on the lids and lighter shade on the outer corners and on a crease. And for the lid, I'm using this pink over here and applying them on 3 quarter of my lids. Then to highlight the inner corner of my eyes, I'm using this pink shimmer to give a similar look as hers and also to open up the eyes. For eyeliner, I'm using Focalier Marker Liner. She had medium wing liner on her eyes. It wasn't too prominent but slightly extended wing at the outer corner. I'm creating the same look here. She had nothing on her lower lashes so I'm going to leave it as it is. Then for mascara, I'm using L'Oreal False Lash Superstar Mascara. I actually forgot my mascara and went to my lipstick and that's why you can see me with the lipstick right there. But later we'll go to that footage. She did not have any falses, just mascara and real lashes, so I'm just using mascara. I have a video on mascara hacks to go from this to this, so please check the video at the description and also at the end of the video. Now for lipstick, she had nude brown lips. I used Lorien Color Rich Lipstick in Maple Mocha. This will create a nice nude base for the lips. So to add more brown, I'm adding L'Oreal Rouge Signature in Eye Play. This will create a shade as similar to hers. And that's all with the makeup. Now let's move to the hairstyle. First, I'm side parting my hair and it's not too side parted. Just a little further from the center so we have space to work with on both sides. First, I'm going to take a small part of my hair and leave them to the front. 
Then I'm going to take some hair which I'll be using for braiding near my crown area and keeping them in the front. The rest of the hair at the back I'm going to pin them so they don't disturb my braiding. I'm going to also pin up the front hairs so they don't disturb me. Now I'm going to start braiding. I'm going to take the part of the hair and divide them into three parts. I'm keeping the front part slightly thicker compared to the other two partings. Then I'm going to start as right parting over the middle parting and left parting over the middle parting. Then the right part over the middle part and I'm adding some extra hair from the front into the middle part and continue with the left part over the middle and I'm going to do the same thing continuously till I reach the back of my ears. Once I reach there, I secure them with a bobby pin. And now to give more volume to the hair as similar to hers, I'm going to pull the braids. But for this, we have to only pull the front braids and not the back one. Just the front ones, pull them. Do not pull the back ones, just the front and it will make the hairstyle look much more beautiful. And now on my left side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. But this side, I'm going to start with my left hair, which is on the front above the middle parting and right hair above the middle parting. Then left hair over the middle parting and add more hair from the front and continue as it is. And once done braiding, I'm just going to pin the hair at the end of the braid just to secure them from opening. You can secure them with a rubber band as well. I'm going to remove the right side bobby pin of the braid as well and keep them inside. Now combing all my hairs in my crown area and I'm going to back comb them. This is to give more volume and also to lift up the hair to look more put together. Once done with back combing, I'm combing the top layer of the hair to give smooth look. Now I'm going to grab those hairs to whisk them, lift it slightly and secure them with two bobby pins. Then I'm securing my braids at the back. And to accessorize the hair, I have almost similar looking purple flower to make them look more put together like what Pavitra had. And now to finish up the hairstyle, I'm straightening the rest of the hairs. And that's it, super cute yet elegant makeup and hairstyle. Simple makeup with statement hairstyle made the look tune absolutely stunning. Hope you enjoyed this recreation. If you like it, please take a moment to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!